Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, it's 28 February in Texas, and our one week of winter is finally over, and I've got some video catching up to do, so don't be surprised if you see my next couple of videos. Well, we're in the same outfit. But uh, today I'm back out at Crossvine because I got a follow-up video, possibly my last one, for some of my clients coming in from Washington State. This house is almost completely finished, and I looked inside already, and it is gorgeous. We're at uh, Crossvine, and this is a David Weekly home. Let's go check it out. Absolutely love the color scheme of the house. It is beautiful. You can tell they got some landscaping in. Three-car driveway is all completely in. Your neighbor house looks like they've already moved in now. across the way it looks like they put some grass in but there won't be anybody across from you there that is uh excess drainage area so nothing to worry about there um because we've checked the floodplains area you are good but let's go check out the inside of this beautiful home love the way the front of this house coming out the details are just great a rock plenty of space on the front porch to sit out here and drink a cup of coffee and wave at people well, let's go check out the inside and I have a special treat. I do have my lovely assistant, Miss Amy with us today. Welcome. Well, thank you, Miss Amy. All right, last time I was here, we did not have electricity, but we do now. Look at the, the flooring, it's absolutely beautiful. Your office right up front. Still has the same beautiful high ceilings as last time. They still got plastic coverings on the glass for the French door. So that's really nice. But just the level of detail that David Weekly has put into the, this house. It's just really nice. They've done a great job. Your powder room right up front. It's got the nice pedestal, framed mirrors. A little bit of work going still, some vent stuff. This house is scheduled to close in about three weeks. This really neat closet underneath. Yeah, talk about a plenty of space in this coat closet. All the way up there, just really cool. Hey, Amy. What do you want to do? You want to show us anything? What do you want to show us? The room under the stairs. The room under the stairs. All right, let's go look at the room under the stairs and then we'll come back to the kitchen. So what type of room for is this underneath here? Oh, I haven't seen all of this back here. Is there a light for it? Cool. Is there, is it keep going? It's really big. Whoa, that talk about a good use of storage in here. Good find, Amy. This is really cool. All right, we are actually in the utility room. Sorry if I'm turning around too much, getting you dizzy, but while I'm in here, let's go look at the garage. A little bit of a step down here, so uh, don't go falling. That reminds me, I've got a garage door opener for you guys that I need to get someone lined up to install for you. Plum for the water heater already. All right, let's go check out, well, yeah, let's hold off that. Let's check out this main living area. Look how high these ceilings are in here. Beautiful day. We're already back in the, what is it, 59 degrees outside right now. But check out this fireplace. I went ahead and turned it on just because I think it looks really good. Not gonna leave it on though. But yeah, it's just the tile work y'all picked out are really great or if the developer picked them out, it just looks really great. Appliances will be the last thing that goes in. 
but you can see you've got the built-in uh, space for the refrigerator. The same tile work as the backsplash, and then they'll put the uh, vent hood going on up there. Closer look at what the granite looks like. I don't believe this was here last time. Got a little plastic covering on it, just keeping it safe. Or is this quartz? It looked more like quartz. So they got the wood wrapping around the whole way. Nice single sink. Y'all know my view was on the 50-50 sink, so this is really nice. Uh, if you don't know my views, I'm not a fan of 50-50 sink, because if you can't put a skillet in there, there's no point into it. But great sight lines in this house, great lighting. Lots of cabinets. Good sized pantry. <clears throat> Let's go check out the outdoor area real quick. We still got a little little ice left on the ground but you got they got the ceiling fans up now see they started work on your new neighbor's house there but just beautiful clear day in Texas today and the other ceiling fan so you got two Fans up, the rock, the paint. I mean, man, I am so happy to see how this house is turning out. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs and then we'll finish in the owner suite. Like got a little bit of cleaning up to do around the wrought iron, but man, that looks nice. Oh, this first time I've seen all the carpet in here. So your little hooligans can beat themselves up in here just fine. This is nice. Good size room up here. A little view of uh little rock park thing right back behind you so yeah, this is just great you're not gonna have anybody directly behind you super cool and those people watching this video crossvine has I think just a few lots left <clears throat> and they're all gonna be spec homes when my clients bought this house I'm pretty sure it was already specked out meaning they'd already picked the designs and the colors of a lot of this stuff. And you can see, David Wickley does a really nice job picking colors. But uh, they are, I think they've only got like four or five different lots left to build on. And then David Wickley's gonna start working on their garden ridge section of Crossvine. But the demand has been high, and yes, prices have been going up. So keep that in mind. Everybody's raising the price, and it's not just David Weekly. All the builders are. Cost of lumber in Texas has been going nuts. Our demand has been insane. So I have been insanely busy because it seems the world is moving to Texas right now. And supply and demand affects a lot of things, including cost of materials. But look at this. A nice little Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the room that has the closet, the big closet with the window. So whoever gets this closet is going to be pretty darn happy. All right, let's just scoot through the bathroom here. To the other room. And whoever gets this room, not going to be too disappointed. It's still a really good sized closet. With 
room for long dresses. This up, oh, this is open. So they got light on. Okay, a sneak peek to what I call our Texas basements because we don't have one. But there's nothing stopping you from putting some uh, plywood in there and adding extra storage space. So you can see David Weekly's done a lot with uh, these insulation, especially if it's going to be outside. Um, that's still over the garage. Uh, we can else, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead on downstairs. No need to film going downstairs, so stand by. All right, back downstairs. I wanna make sure you can see the little nook there and that really cool light fixture. Amy, you want to show me the master bedroom or the owner suite there? Um, the bathroom. They show the bathroom? Okay. But great lighting in here. Lots of room for whatever size bed you want. So what do you think of this uh, bathroom, Amy? She is correct. Everything is huge in this bathroom. Beautiful tile work done on here. The mud set shower versus having a little big plastic pan. You get a little step down and a big, beautiful. All right, I don't know where that phone call came in, but I hope I started this video in the right spot. Hmm. Kind of hope there's no, uh, window on that side of the house or you're really confident in yourself so just something to consider but big beautiful double vanities here with the framed mirror looks really great up oh, there's amy what are you, you showing off how big this closet is mm -hmm. it's so big it is big isn't it Two. And there's a place to put shoes. There's a place to put shoes? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, you definitely have enough shoes, don't you? Yeah. Well, you can always put a little light curtain over there if you didn't want to show off, but there probably is going to be uh, a big wall right there. All right, that's going to wrap the tour of this beautiful home built by David Weekly in the Crossvine community in Shirts, Texas. My client should be here, I think, in about three weeks, maybe four weeks, but that's, this home is going to be ready in three weeks. So if you like these videos and if you're considering moving to this great part of Texas, make sure you, sure you reach out to me. Text is the best way to do it. And always remember, buyers don't pay realtor fees, so don't go through this process alone. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends and families. Uh, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.